Can you not see me? Mr. Anon, you're asking me where I am. Can you not see me? I think from now on, I'm just going to play the sound of silver prior to every video that I do. Anyhow, thank you so much for everybody tuning in. I need to let you know that it's going to be a quick video, maybe half an hour, maybe 40 minutes, but it's going to be a quickie. And uh, I want to talk about a few things. I keep getting um, questions about stacking silver, pure, I, I call it pure, 0.999 or 0.949s. I keep getting questions from people and new stackers. And, and it's I'm glad that they're asking questions because there's no such thing as a stupid question. But they these new stackers are always inquisitive. Should I buy three nines, four nines, or should I just stick with constitutional silver? What should I buy? I want to address my opinion. My opinion does not mean it's God. It did not come down from God. So I always get these people who like to argue with me. In my opinion, constitutional silver, 1965 and older, in my opinion, is not worth buying. I will save it if I find it. I will save it if it is given to me. I will save it if I see it in a milk jug, but I don't go out and buy it. It is worth money, yes, but again, if I'm gonna buy something, I'd rather just go and buy the pure stuff, the .39 or the .49. It makes it a whole lot simpler when going to sell it. You know, you, you got some Yahoo that you're selling it to, all your junk silver. Well, this this is a 63, and and this particular coin. Meanwhile, you got like 400 pieces of pre-65, and he's going through each one. This is a 63, and there was only a quarter of a million made. I, I'm, I'm I can't quite give you the value of 90% silver. Next, this one, <laughs> too much complication. You get my point. You got some uh, you got some stickler trying to buy your stuff. You rather try to sell them pure stuff. Obviously, I'm not saying don't keep the pre-65, the constitutional, the half dollars that you know from 71 and whatnot. I'm not saying that, you know. But the bulk of my stack, I keep it simple. Keep it simple, pure silver. Boom. There's no argument about year. Or no argument about the quantity in circulation. There's no argument, well, when this is not a collector's item. It's just, it's simple. And, and, and that's it. So for you new stackers out there, my advice is just buy pure silver. Buy rounds. Generic rounds, yes, are pure. Three nines or four nines. If you want to, buy silver eagles and maple leaves and, and whatnot. It doesn't matter as long as it has three nines or four nines on it, you're doing good. If that's your goal is just to acquire silver, the physical metal, don't worry about buying bullion like this. Don't worry about it. Get the generics, get the bars, three nines or four nines. I think, I don't know if I ever seen a bar that's four nines, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Just get bars, get generics to start off your stack. To start off your stack. After a while, branch on over to the maple leaves and the eagles and whatnot. So I got a little story to tell you. Let's say hello. A rooster, I did receive a friend um, request. But in the small print I was reading, um, it said something about sharing videos. And I did not feel comfortable having videos maybe pop up on my channel, nor did I feel comfortable having my videos pop up on your channel. The small writing, the minute writing, um, kind of got me a little nervous. So I did not accept your friend request. Don't take it personal. 
I just don't want to compromise my channel. So I got a little story to tell you. Uh, and, and, and this goes into the liberal mindset. And, and whoa, it made sense. It was like putting the last piece of a puzzle, a jigsaw puzzle, in place. So as you guys know, I'm selling the home up in Pine Top. Got an offer. We signed, we accepted the offer. They got the our acceptance back. They signed it. Signed. Next step is they pay for an inspection because the bank requires a, an inspection and a, an appraisal. Boom. So we just get a call after everything's signed. Well, you know, the, the seller, she didn't realize the drapes, personal items, were not included. You know, drapery on the window. For you folks who just know about blinds, there's the cloth draperies. And, and you know, your, and look at my older videos. Uh, like last month, you see videos where I shoot in this house. You see how well de it's decorated. She wanted everything. Well, she didn't realize, and our, our real estate agent is being the advocate for the buyer, which pissed us off. Well, she didn't realize that the pot rack wasn't included. That's personal items. She didn't realize that the butcher block wasn't included. She didn't realize, because when you go out in the front yard, there's a wagon wheel, there's a mining cart, an ore cart. She didn't realize all that wasn't included, and she wants that. This lady's going off on a list of items she wants that are not permanently in the house. They are personal items. She wants this, 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 and this. And the reason why she decided to put an offer on her house because she just liked the feel, the, the aesthetics, and that's basically what she was looking for. So I started going off on my real estate agent. Well, actually, my wife did. How dare you, you be the advocate for her and the audacity that somebody wants our stuff for free. The audacity. So guess what I found out today? You know who she is? She's a teacher. That's the final jigsaw piece. Remember I said there, it's like, I found out she is a teacher. Liberal nut jobs, you know, indoctrination doctors. She thinks that this is the entitlement mentality of some people. The audacity of some people to expect you to give away your personal items rather than work for them themselves. I know you like our house and we appreciate it, but you know what? You can mimic this. You know how? Get a job or do whatever you got to do. Buy your own shit. Anyway, it, it, it just, we, we, we said no, we're not giving our stuff away. And we're going to see if this lady tries to get out of the contract. Well, I don't think our real estate agent is doing dual advocate. Uh, it, it was the lady... The buyer contacting her real estate agent and her real estate agency contacting mine is basically how it went. And, but the whole thing, what was comical is the fact that I found out she was a teacher. That says it all, folks. Just want to say hello. Again, a lot of people are in the room today. I'm a, I'm a little worked up. After my wife told me that, I got really angry. And I was going to call and, and kind of give my two cents, um, as you know I can give, to my real estate agent. Uh, my wife said no, not yet. <laughs> um, so a few people are in the house. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, tactical Paradigm, just add uh, Silver Spot Stacker. Spot Stacker, I haven't seen you here before. Rooster is in the house, um, but it is comical. It really, really is. Uh, so on a little funny note, now I gave you some crap. Now let me give you something funny. So I'm sitting in my car today, you know, driving to work, and I hear this serious news excerpt, how Taco Bell is now going to offer home delivery. I was just amazed. 
And I, I just got this image in my mind, some freaking dude smoking a doobie, two fucking stoned, excuse my language, oops, I apologize, two stoned to go to Taco Bell to get his freaking 10 for 10 tacos, just sitting there on his little app because it was an app. And it was going to deliver to you by a company called Grub, uh, Grub Hub, I think it was called. Can you imagine that? How pathetic you are, you must be to have to have Taco Bell delivered. Imagine that. I, you can barely get me to drive there, let alone get the crap delivered. <laughs> Some guy... <laughs> oh yeah, that looks good. Extra cheese. Send. <laughs> this world is getting really lazy. It's amazing. Um, since my wife called me about this real estate agent, I've been pissed mad and everything I'm bitching about today. It's amazing how you'll go to a, a fast food restaurant, regardless of what it is, and you will see the drive through literally 10, 15 cars backed up. And you look in the lobby, not one person is in there. How lazy people have become. Truly lazy. Um, it reminds me of that movie called Wally, -E, that Disney movie that you folks might remember. Wally, -E, and then the egg shaped thing takes Wally -E up to, I don't know, some spaceship. And in it, you have to look at it because it's a beautiful metaphor for life. All the um, residents, the people who lived on this spaceship, they were permanently strapped to recliners that were mobile. And everything was brought to them or the recliner went to it. And I turned to my wife, when did Wally come out? Several years ago, I said, this is really what the world's coming to. People are just so flippin' lazy. Everything's brought to them, and, and, and they just don't want to get out of their recliners. If you've never seen Wally, -E, watch it and, um, and get to that part, and you will see just such a stark resemblance to what our society has and is becoming. <clears throat> yeah, folks, uh, if you would, uh, 86 people in the room, uh, if you would, please smash the like bu button. Yes, I'm getting a studio. Um, when I made this, when I made the video yesterday, I did not know that the seller wanted this, 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 and this, and this. Now, obviously, she's in a signed contract, but I'm getting a studio Providing that I sell that house. And um, we already picked the, the new home, and it's a huge... The room itself, I want to say it's every bit of 450 square feet, 400 square feet. And the wife and I have plans, studio lighting, green screen in the back. We're going to probably hang up some of the guns in gun racks. Uh, maybe some of the mementos on another side of the things that have been sent to me. Uh from you folks, uh, you know, little patches and police patches and, and little mementos and whatnot. And maybe get a, on the other side, maybe a, 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 do, a Trump doll or something that is uh, semi-robotic, uh, uh, you know. Um, but uh, we have great plans. Uh, I've got a new camera picked out. And I just want you folks to know, that, how do I say this tactfully without being... Um, Every time you folks have sent me a, um, a live chat or a donation, I've never spent it. Never spent it. It went into an account. I am using those donations, actually, to, pay, to reinvest into this channel. And that is what's going to fund, um, that is what is going to fund the, the studio uh, uh, equipment. And I just want to thank everybody um, from the bottom of my heart. And um, when the studio is finally hooked up, we're going to actually show it. Uh, um, 
you know, a nice wide shot of all the studio lighting, where I sit and everything. And um, that's it. But I can't wait to start to be able to hang up my guns. The AR-15, it's going to be hard to hang up due to the, the uh, Daniel Defense Rail, but I'll work something out, I think. But it's going to be so cool to have a man cave with, with guns and ammo instead of locking it all up in a safe sometimes. It kind of sucks. I like to kind of touch it and pet it. <laughs> I know I'm going crazy, but... Um, it's just gonna be cool to have a real man cave and where I can do videos and and do them professionally and 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 and, and whatnot. So um, we're gonna talk a lot about more about silver also in those videos. Um, I'm hoping to have some more free time when I can actually take those guns to a gun range and and pop off some rounds. I don't even need to go to a gun range where I'll be so cl I'll be pretty much in the desert. So I'll probably just have to drive. A little bit in the desert I might be able to do video uh, some desert shooting um, that sort of thing I, I love just shooting I hate I'm, I'm safe with a gun D don't get me wrong I'm ex military I know how to handle it but sometimes I don't like the strict regiment of going to a a firing range and it's okay everybody Put your guns down, barrels facing the forward, pull, pull the receiver. Okay, now everybody walk out to the thing, grab your target. Okay, now everybody walk in. Okay, you can commence shooting again. Please clean up your brass, which I automatically do anyway. I like going out in the desert and just freaking having fun with, with some of the guys. And just, if we feel like going crazy, boom, 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 we go crazy, you know? I mean, but we're safe, you know, we're not idiots, we're ex-military. We just don't like the freaking regiment sometimes of, you folks know what it is. It's sometimes a pain in the ass to go to a gun range. Major DMB, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Um... Let's see, some of the names, just add silver, collateral casualty, I gotta love that name, man. Well, get stuff delivered, don't waste time for shopping, spend it on range time. New motto, stacking and packing. Drink some beer and shooting is best. Um, yeah, I, I have no problem drinking a couple. I don't, we don't get freaking... Um, we'll, you know, we'll drink a few, but we don't, um, get belligerent drunk. You know, after all, we are ex-military, but accidents can happen. But I, I have no problem having a few, uh, as long as, you know, it's... Negotiator in the house and Silver Guru. Um, let's see, Volkswagen Planet. Um, let's see who else is here. Don't know too many conservative teachers out there. Just add silver. I agree. And when I heard she was a teacher, it just all clicked. And I was pissed. I was fuming. My wife basically had said, no, don't call her. Don't call her. And, um, ooh, I would have laid into this, this lady. And I would have done it at a low voice. I wouldn't have yelled at her. But she would have known who was talking to her. And it was going to be the overtaxed taxpayer channel. I would have talked very low professionally but she would have felt so flippin stupid by the time I'm finished with her she'll never do that again to another customer John Turner in the house Seaway 44 Thor Bradshaw I second the gold and silver manipulation greetings from humongous um, who else? Demon Hunter. Overtax. Can you tell us about gold and silver manipulation? Well, I'm going to oversimplify it. You got one bank talking to another bank. Okay. Hey, other bank, at uh, 305, we're going to dump the market with all this uh, paper silver. We need you to buy it up, increasing the sales volume. So they dump all this paper mark uh, silver. 
on the market, their buddies buy it up quickly so nobody else does. You go to your, your stock markets or your metals markets and you see a high volume. And that's how they keep the price down, by keep flooding the market. And this happens every freaking day almost. I know I oversimplified it, but they're all in cahoots together. There's two silver markets, there's two gold markets. There's the physical, and there's the paper. Most people think they're the same. I don't believe they are, although they'll lie to you and say they're the same. Physical, although they're reflected on the same metals charts, don't get me wrong. The paper is driving the cost of this, though. That's what's going on. Tactical paradigm in the house. John Chimini. Haven't seen you in a while, sir. Matt Lawrence. Lazy Lawrence is lawfully lurking. Lovely low levels of light. Okay. Stefan, you're not listening from Nampa, Idaho. Thank you so much. Um, greetings from California. I'm a good guy. That's Stephen. Stephen Lewanski. Thank you so much for being here. Not all Californians are bad Californians. <clears throat> Who else is here? Sans Pure is in the house. Duke Master Coin. She did. Did she want all your food in the fridge too? That's what I asked my wife. It's funny, Duke Master of Coin. You mentioned this. I asked my wife, should I leave my underwear behind? I don't know. What else does she want? I was pissed. I was furious. The audacity of some people. And I think that's that's what it is that bothers me about people. It's. It's the mental, no, no pride anymore, no sense of embarrassment, the audacity of people. I want free stuff, and we'll freaking admit to it. Everybody is leaving Cali by John Turner, uh, John, and everybody else. I believe California is the biggest hater of walls. Why do they have a wall? It's beyond me. So here's my, here's what I say. We build the wall everywhere else. We take Californian uh, Southern Wall, what is it, the San Diego Wall? We utilize th those miles to fill in somewhere else. And then we wall off the east state line of uh, California. Let them have all the illegals they want. I say ban walls in California. Don, Dan Pagel, Pagel, love, uh, love to leave California. San Fran is the worst real estate market in the country. My brother lives up there. Um, who else is here? None of your business. Just order my first gold pamp, 10 gram. Congratulations, by the way, on that purchase. Uh, you're very lucky to have some gold. Bob the Monk. All the stuff I have, I work hard and sacrifice for. Never receive free. Hold on, that went by fast. Free Gibbs. Always taken from me via taxes. Yeah, it's sad. And you know what? When people are given stuff for free, they don't appreciate it. When you work for it, you take care of it. When things are given to you free, you don't even take care of it. You, you take a look at some of these people who are on welfare and on housing subsidies. You drive by their neighborhoods. They don't take care of the home that is being subsidized. It, it, it is a fact. You give a, a kid a car, he's less apt to take care of the car unlike he would if he uh, worked hard for it and had to pay for it himself. Drive by some of these subsidized houses. These people love good things like you and I. They love the finer things in life, but for some reason they do not take care of things that are just given to them. 
<clears throat> Second Amendment don't mean a thing without ammo is a true statement, and that's why you better get your ammo too. Um, go to Ellis Street in San Francisco, the smell of human feces and urine. Isn't that Chinatown? No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> Missing some thumbs up. Only 43. I know, man. I must not be doing a good job lately. And I know what it is, really. It's the fact that... It's the fact that the lighting is bad. I'm on a tablet. I'm on my sister's couch. It's the fact that I'm not in my normal... place, like the cabin up in the White Mountains, where I normally feel from, or, or my home uh, that has been put up for sale that I was renting. Uh, so I think that kind of turned a lot of people off. So it's a nice couch. Yeah. Sometimes I sleep on the couch here. Okay. I got to take a Pelosi and wipe my fecal sting. <laughs> oh, man. Collecting silver, my new freaking addiction, but a good one. Yeah, I love stacking silver. I talk about cryptos, but my primary, my primary um, addiction is silver, and soon to be gold. I like you. I like you. Movie evaluation of Wally, best example of universal basic income. So, yeah, it, that movie's called Wally, W A L L space C. It, it's a it's a it's a cartoon, but it's a well done. Let your kids watch it, but you watch it also, and you will see some weird freaking stuff in there. Just check it out. What is an ideal amount of gold to own? Jeez, anything above 1 ounce would be nice for me. <laughs> uh I need to, st I, I really can't answer that question. And I answered something very similar to this uh, the day before yesterday. That's, ask that's like asking me how much money should you have in your bank account. I don't know. I don't know your conditions. Your, I don't know your bills. I don't know how many people are in your family. I just don't know how you live. I can tell you maybe a minimum number, maybe uh, a minimum could be, uh, see, gold is more difficult. I would say maybe a minimum, four or five ounces, but we're talking gold now, you know? You ask me about silver, I'd say maybe 200 ounces, but that's, that, those are minimums, and, and for, yeah, it's kind of hard for me to ask, answer those questions. Hello, Doug, I'm from, I'm in Tampa, that's the Volkswagen Planet, Doug Larrabee, hello from Palm Bay, Florida. <clears throat> so does anybody know about the Theta update to ERC, what is it, 30 or something like that? The mainnet or something that occurred yesterday? Anybody? Anybody know about that update in, on Binance? I got a question to ask some of our crypto experts. And jewelry, yes, can be considered gold. My wife has a lot of um, a lot of jewelry. Um, it's locked up, but you know, I just purchased three ounces of gold. I would, I would late. Garden grilled some cheeseburgers. When is Trump going to abolish the Internal Revenue Service? He can't do it on on his own. People. People have the misconception that Trump can just do everything. He has to have the backing of the Senate, the House of Representatives. He just can't just... People think, oh, how come he hasn't built the wall yet? Well, first of all, he is building the wall. Um, but people have a misconception of, of the powers of a president. He just can't do everything he wants like that. It's not going to happen overnight. Nick, one theory is it would raise the prices of electronics. 
<clears throat> Coco, if you look at the title of the new page, it says something about it. Salivate Metals is in the house. I like Salivate Metal. If you guys never seen his channel, I plead with you to go take a look at it. I like giving shout outs to some of the fellow gold and silver stackers here. Yeah, just add silver. Good luck with Trump getting back in with anything. The whole world is against him. Big Bass Man, 67. Salivate Metals. Hi. The Independent Stacker. Hi, everyone. Everybody's saying hello to Salivate. Now that guy has a lot of... I can buy a boat with that. I just ask, you know, Yankee stacking if you're in the house and salivate. I know I'm 56 years old. Would, would you adopt me as your child? Um, I'm clean. I eat very little. Um, just leave me in your will. That's all I'm asking. No, it doesn't hurt my channel. <laughs> I like giving shout outs. Jamar Butler, Trump's steel wall should bring jobs to welders. And ditch diggers, because you remember, in order to put a wall up, what do you do? You dig a ditch. You then pour in the concrete, guys. Put a foundation. Maybe you put the concrete, maybe you put a portion of that fence inside the the concrete, then you fill, you backfill it. There's all kinds of things that uh, definitely a lot of employment opportunities from building that wall. A lot of um, logistics as well. Colorado in the house. Yes, folks, if you would, please give me a thumbs up. I'm not really doing much talking. I've done that earlier in this video. I did my griping. And the reason why I'm showing this silver, because a lot of my stuff is in storage now that I'm in transition to the new house. So a lot of stuff is in storage right now. Blizzard, Colorado. Love Colorado, man. I love going to uh, Keystone. I love going to Breckenridge, A Basin. Love it. I th The Eagle, I thought you were younger than me. No, I didn't start drinking until I went into the Army. <laughs> That's why I look young. And I never smoked, really. Cyclone Blizzard of Oz in Denver. Hey, have you ever seen that freaking Denver airport? That is some freaky stuff. You all can uh, YouTube that. Good job, Sal. I'm going to quit my smoking, okay? Elk, is that for dinner? That's it. It's what's for dinner. What brand of safe do you own? I own a sturdy gun safe. S-T-U-R-D-Y. Google them. I think pound per pound. They're probably one of the best safes out there. And take a look. I did two videos a year apart um, reviewing that safe. Why two? One was when I first got it or shortly after I first got it. The second one is after I had it a year. So I wanted to do a follow-up video. Take a look at those two videos. Excellent safe videos. And you'll see why I picked it. As well as I always tell everybody, go on Google. And type in Google, Liberty versus this brand, Liberty versus that brand, or this brand versus that brand. Do that with Sturdy, and you will find that many people actually like Sturdy over Liberty. Sleep. I'm sleeping with, in the snow. Wife screwed me over. Okay.
Donald Milder in the house. Thumbs up. He told me, he actually emailed me and said, hey, can you remind me to give you a thumbs up? <laughs> uh, that, it was actually kind of cute. Stacking is hands down one of the best out there. Just wanted to let you know. Your vid on beginning stacking. Thank you so much, big bass man. I'm taking it that you're a bass fisherman. You're going to challenge MSNBC for ratings when you get your new studio going. I hope so. And by the way, um, you know that video that I put out yesterday about me getting a uh, studio? Guess what happened to it? It was demonetized. I got a notification from, uh, from um, YouTube. You know why? I guess my channel is blacklisted. And how do I know that? Because for the first time yesterday, I put the name of my channel in the keywords. It came back as demonetized. Now it was demonetized until I noticed it probably half the day. I then removed that keyword, overtaxed taxpayer. Within a half an hour, I was remonetized. So it, it is amazing that my channel is considered, the name of my channel is considered bad. Anyway, folks. I'm going to call it a night. Um, I promised my sister I'm going to take her out for some pizza. After all, she's letting me hang out in her home uh, until we move into the new home, into our new house. Uh, so I'm going to take her out for dinner, and I'm going to call it a night. Remember, please, remember to keep stacking silver. Buy yourself some. T t what, what, two more days is Friday. That's payday. Get yourself something. Just get yourself a little bit of silver, whatever you can afford. Get, get If you can't afford silver, you know, go to a place that sells Mountain House cans of food. Buy yourself something for the pantry. Buy yourself, go to Costco. Buy yourself a 50-pound bag of rice. Buy yourself something to put away for tomorrow, folks. The shit's going to hit the fan. It really is. And that's not fear-mongering. It's going to happen. Anyway, you folks have a great night. Thank you for your support. If you haven't, subscribe. And give me a thumbs up. Take care. Do you have a Theta wallet? Do you think it will go up? I see it has a small market CPA. Yes. So a lot of people, and you'll have to Google it. Don't take my word for it. That's something I tell everybody. Don't take my word for it. I am just somebody on YouTube. Always double check the information that is coming out of everybody's mouth, including mine. But if you do a Google search on Theta and Theta, um, uh, what people are estimating Theta to go to, they say Theta is going to be one of the biggest winners out there. It's a true statement. Um, anyway, folks, have a great day. I'm out of here.